you've been waiting for a pocket-sized iPhone with high-end features and specs, I've got good news. The iPhone SE makes barely any compromises compared to the larger, more expensive iPhone 6S. Apple has never rolled out a brand new iPhone for the very low end of its lineup. Usually that entry level spot goes to an older model that's been around for a couple of years. So the iPhone SE is already notable just for existing. It's a smaller, cheaper iPhone that delivers nearly the same features and performance of the flagship devices. The iPhone SE feels instantly familiar. It's the exact same size as the iPhone 5S. You can even use the same cases. I love how the sides are flat. The curved edges of my iPhone 6S would never let me do this. The iPhone 5S already had Touch ID, but the new iPhone SE adds NFC and a secure element to support Apple Pay, which is a big upgrade. The Touch ID isn't quite as fast as the second generation Touch ID on my iPhone 6S, but it doesn't feel slow or sluggish either. In fact, nothing about this phone feels slow or sluggish. Aside from its smaller screen and smaller keyboard, it feels just like my iPhone 6S. The apps launch quickly, they don't crash, and switching between them is super fast. The biggest trade-off is not having 3D touch. Now that can speed up your task by giving you quick actions from the home screen and letting you peek at images and emails without opening them up all the way. I like 3D touch on my iPhone 6S, but I know I'm not using it as much as I could, so I don't miss it that much on the iPhone SE. The iPhone SE gets the same rear-facing eyesight camera as on the iPhone 6S. It takes 12 megapixel stills, live photos, and 4K video. Every single feature is supported except for the optical image stabilization that you can only get with those extra large phones, the iPhone 6 Plus and 6S Plus. But the front-facing FaceTime HD camera on the iPhone SE is only 1.2 megapixels. That's the same as the old iPhone 5S, and not as good as the 5 megapixel FaceTime camera on the iPhone 6S. But don't worry too much, selfie fans. The front-facing camera on the iPhone SE can use the screen as a flash, and that extra light combined with Apple's image processing does a pretty good job of smoothing out the noise. Even these drawbacks are pretty minor, though, when you consider that the iPhone SE is leaps and bounds ahead of its 4-inch forefather, the iPhone 5S. Not many people are gonna be downgrading from a larger iPhone 6 or 6S to the SE. And if they do, it's probably because physical size outweighs any other consideration. I love small screens, and even though I have no gripes with my own iPhone 6S, I'm still planning to pocket this little iPhone SE until the new flagship phone comes out this fall.